Fire Shy. It'll be fun. There's nothing fun about dragons. Scary, yes, fun, no. But Fluttershy, the great dragon migration happens only once in a generation. Do you really want to pass up a chance like that? Now that you put it that way, yes! Oh, Fluttershy, we just don't want you to miss out. Miss out on what? Dragons? Big, scaly, fire-breathing dragons? Well, yeah. Thanks, but no thanks. Look, Fluttershy, I watched that boring butterfly migration with you. So now it's your turn to watch the dragon migration with me. You owe me. I said... Okay, I guess I'll let you off the hook this time. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you're all my very best friends? I don't see any dragons. Me neither. Me neither, neither. Shoot. You don't think we missed him, do you? No, I don't think so. We're just a little early, and I'm glad we are. This way, we can watch every moment of the migration without bringing any unwanted attention to ourselves. yoo -hoo! Well... <laughs> what do you think? Am I the toast of the trench, or what? <laughs> You'll be toast, all right, when the dragons see you parading around in that get -up. You look very nice, Rarity, but could you maybe look nice down here in the trench with us? Nice is an understatement. I look fabulous. Who says camouflage has to be drab? Ahoy, ladies! Dragons move! Ooh. Ah. Wow. Amazing! Pretty lame move. Is that only God? What do you think of that move, Rainbow Dash? Still think they're lame? Uh, not so much. The word fierce comes to mind. And formidable. And super duper scary. Yeah, us dragons are definitely a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah, right, Spike. That's one of the scariest aprons I've ever seen. <laughs> What's wrong with wearing an apron? You won't be laughing when you spill blueberries all over your scales. Feathers. That's one tough stain. One tough stain against one lame dragon. <laughs> you leave him alone, Rainbow Dash. Spike's style is unique. He doesn't have to look like other dragons. Or act like them. My little Spikey Wikey is perfect the way he is. I don't act like other dragons? Oh, not even close. But why would you want to, Spike? Yes, you've got something those dreadfully fierce dragons can only dream of. What's that? Your cutest little chubby cheeks. Cute? Well, dragons aren't supposed to be cute, right? Oh, sweetie, you are turning the most delightful shade of red. It is most becoming. <laughs> oh, isn't he adorable when he waddles off in anger? Who am I supposed to be? Ugh, I don't know. For the last time, Spike, you were given to me as an egg. I don't know who found you or where they found you. Seriously? That's all you know? I'm sorry, Spike. That doesn't tell me anything about who I am. I need answers. I feel like I'm... I'm looking at a complete stranger. Aww. Oh, Spike. Why don't we do some late-night research? See what we can find out. Really? You do that? Of course. I'm sure we can find something. Nothing. Nothing in this one, either. Nothing at all about dragons? The 
this is getting ridiculous. I know. It's hard to believe, but ponies know next to nothing about dragons. Apparently, they're too rare and too scary to try to talk to or study. I wonder if dragons cry. Oh, Spike. It's okay, Twilight. I'm going to discover who I am if it's the last thing I do. You guys! Good morning! You want to join us for breakfast? That sounds great. I'm famished. Count me out. I've got to get an early start. An early start? Yes. I'm going on a quest of self-discovery. I need to learn what it means to be a dragon. And the only way I'm going to do that is to join the dragon migration. What? Spike, that's nonsense talk. I know that you're a dragon, but those dragons mean business. They're big and tough and scary. And I'm small and meek. And I like to wear aprons. See, this is exactly why I need to spend time with them. All I'm saying is that you could get hurt. Darling, this time I really do have to agree with Rainbow Dash. I don't want those big, ugly, nasty dragons to hurt one little scale on your cutie woozy head. I'm sorry, but I made up my mind. Oh, quick, do something! Stop him before it's too late! Hey, give it back! He should go. Yes, Spike. I couldn't answer your questions. My books couldn't either. I understand why you want to look elsewhere. I truly believe you need to go on this quest. And we have no right to stop you. No, I suppose not. I still say you're nutty, but hey, I've done lots of nutty things. <laughs> we, we know. Well then, I guess this is goodbye, Spike. We can't wait to hear about it when you return. Yeah, we hope your trip quest. Your quest answers some of your pesky who am I questions. Thanks, Heavy Pony. I know it will. Goodbye, Spikey Wikey. Go get him, big guy. We have faith in you. We're following him, right? Of course. One dragon. Now come on, let's go. Yeah! Um, excuse me. Uh, hi, I'm Spike. Are you sure your name is Spike and not Shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Spike. I'm not, I mean, I'm sure about that. You look more like a peewee to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, come on. Seriously, leave him alone. Or he might fly away. That is, uh, if he had any wings. <laughs> <laughs> you flying on your mommy's back during the migration? Not exactly. No, no. Can't you see Baby Spikes is hatched? I bet he still sucks his claw at night. No, I haven't sucked my claw in months. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you weren't just hatched, how come we haven't seen you around before? Oh. Well, you see, I live in Ponyville, and, and I'm... <laughs> Ponyville? That explains it! I knew there was something vaguely ponyish about you. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were part pony. Who, oh, me? I'm not part pony. I'm all dragon. See? Rawr! Or maybe you're a pony in a dragon costume. <laughs> <laughs> a pony in a dragon costume? 
<laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> I am a real dragon. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Well, how? By acting like one. Who's up for a little belching contest? Desk of Princess Celestia. Dear Spike, please tell <laughs> Get this, guys! Spike's pen pals with a Namby Pamby Pony Princess! <laughs> <laughs> How can he just throw that away? That letter could be something important. We can't worry about that now, Twilight. We're here to help Spike. I know, I know. There's no reason to disrespect Princess Celestia that way. Maybe tail wrestling is more your speed. Uh, yeah! Ready? Go! The winner! Good old tail wrestling. We can't let little spiky wikey wrestle one of them. He'll get clobbered. Let's go. I challenge Spike to a tail wrestle. Who's this weirdo? I think he's Crackle's cousin. Ah! Oh, that would explain it. Ready? Little Spike, maybe you are a dragon after all. Yeah, maybe I am. Rainbow Dash, I can't believe your silly plan actually worked. Ow. All right, who's next? Getting a little cocky, huh? I like that. So how about you wrestle him? So, Spike, you haven't exactly proven yourself as a dragon yet, have you? But I get an A for effort? Uh, maybe. Let's see how you do in this next contest. <laughs> King of the Horn! <laughs> this is my chance. That's so fast! <laughs> King of the <laughs> Looks like this is another fail for you, little Spike. Can't wait to watch you fail at Lava Cannonball, too. the biggest lava splash is the ultimate dragon, Geronimo! Spike's on his own this time. You afraid the lava will hurt your soft pony hide? <laughs> uh, was I that bad? No, dude. That was awesome! No pony could live through a belly flop like that! <laughs> You're one tough little dragon! Spike, by belly flopping so hard, you have proven yourself worthy! 
I hereby dub you Rookie Dragon and will now perform the initiation ritual. <laughs> now let's party dragon style! Man, was that a great party? Great? <laughs> Maybe by Ponyville standards. Stick with us, Spike. We still got plenty to teach you about being a dragon. I'm not going anywhere. The way I feel right now, I could hang out with you guys forever. Forever? <sighs> Spiky Wikey is going to stay with these awful dragons? Forever? Oh no, this is terrible. I should have stopped him back in the library when I had the chance. No, Rainbow Dash, this is all my fault. I encouraged him to go. You know, Spike, I think you just might be ready for a real dragon raid. <laughs> There's a nest full of phoenix eggs nearby, and we're gonna swipe them. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aren't you totally psyched to go on this raid? Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I mean, I I'm psyched. All right, then. Let's fly! Uh, sorry, guys. I guess I'll get you back here in the crater. After the whole raid thing's over, we'll totally hang out. All right, Spike, since you're our rookie dragon, you get to lure the parents away from the nest. Huh. Lucky me. Well, go on then. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Phoenix! I was hoping I could have a word with you. Um, I'd, um, like to ask you some questions, actually. We haven't got all day, Spike. Hey, you bird brains, come and get me! <laughs> The eggs have hatched. What do we do now? We take the hatchlings, of course. Get him! The raid wasn't a total waste after all. <laughs> oh, yes. Nice going, Spike. Well, what are you waiting for, Spike? Smash it! Smash the egg? Yeah! Yeah! Throw it on the ground as hard as you can! Yeah! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Egg, like I was, and I'm not gonna let you hurt it. What did you say? I said no. No one says no to me. <laughs> no pony's gonna lay a claw on him. That's right. Fighting's not really my thing. I'm more into fashion. But I'll rip you to pieces if you touch one. Scary! <laughs> Spike, 
Are these Namby Pamby ponies your friends? Yes, they are. And they're better friends than you could ever be. Now, if you don't back off, you'll see what us ponies do when confronted by a huge group of jerky dragons. Oh, yeah? What's that? Run away! <laughs> That was a close one. Thanks, you guys. Of course. What are friends for? You're more than friends. You're my family. <coughs> Dear Princess Celestia, seeing the great dragon migration made me wonder what it meant to be a dragon. But now I realize that who I am is not the same as what I am. I may have been born a dragon, but Equestria and my pony friends have taught me how to be kind, loyal, and true. I'm proud to call Ponyville my home and to have my pony friends as my family. Yours truly, Spike. <laughs> hey, welcome to the family, Pee-wee. Stick with me. I've got plenty to teach you about being a pony. There's a place where puppies and kittens play together, and where rainbows... Watch holes in the sky! That place is Saturdays on the Hub, where ponies fight big, where girls shred guitars, and where puppies are masters of the sky. Saturdays at noon Eastern.